Lee Hawkins can't be alive. Well, but he is. Myrtle saw him a few days ago at the, at the hospital. How does Myrtle know Lee Hawkins? Well, she knows him from back in the old days, in the Kearney. Camille had a letter saying he was dead. That was just pen and ink, Adam. It, it is not proof of anything. <laughs> Damn. What kind of an idiot am I? Well... Lee was the one going around sabotaging elevators and blowing up buildings. Why did I believe the one thing Camille was lying about? Because she looks so much like Joy. If Lee is alive... Yeah, I know. Nobody's meaner or more ruthless. Any clues to where he might be? Yeah, Edmund found, I found, uh, found that he had a post office box in Center City where he's been picking up disability checks. So he had it staked out. By whom? Yeah, a private investigator. And he's doubled the security at Wildwind. Nobody's safe with Hawkins around. Yeah, well, Mateo thought so too, so he took Ailey out of town. Good man. Where'd they go? He didn't tell anybody. Yeah, that's good. But why am I finding out about this now? I could have had men on this days ago. Who are you calling? I'm going to flood the area with security people. We'll find Hawkins. Yes, you got that? All right, Barry, if anything comes in, I mean anything comes in about Marion Colby or Lee Hawkins, you contact me immediately. Oh, and, uh, Barry, if you find Marion Colby, treat her with the utmost respect. That's right. That's right. Drop everything. This is top priority. Yes, good. You'll be in constant contact with me. Thank you, Adam. We'll find Marion. Try not to worry. You're a good brother. I try. Kill for a lobster cocktail. <coughs> With some more water. Even out of the tap. No ice. No scotch. Not even a glass. whining, he'd be thinking of a way to get out of here. Oh, please, Stuart. Send me some brave waves. Help me get, think of a plan. I'm going to get out of here. I am going to get out of here. I am never going to give up, never. <laughs> Not as long as there's a breath left in my body. There is no ghost. Yes, there is. Jamie and Amanda and I heard it. Okay, okay, all right. Look, let me just go find Jamie first, all right? We have to hook up with Austin before he goes to groom the horses. Austin's going to stay with us, isn't he? Yes, he is, until Peggy comes, all right? Now, you just stay right here in this spot. I will be right back. No ghost hunting. Yes, ma'am. Hello in there. Of any dumb ghosts. Hey! Get away from there, kid. You can't talk to me like that. I'm Adam Chandler Jr. Oh. You are, huh? Yep. And I'm gonna see the ghost that lives in there. Really? Well, since you're a Chandler, well, that's a different story entirely. My gosh, I never should have yelled at you. Of course you can see the ghost. Let me open the door for you. I'm on real special terms with this here ghost. You hear that? That's a ghost whispering to me. Yeah. I didn't hear anything. Well, you gotta come inside now. Come on, let's get in there. Get your hands off my son! 
Who are you? What the hell do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. My name's John, ma'am. Uh, I work for Mr. Gray. I'm a yard worker here at Wildman. You was gonna show me the ghost, Mom. Come on, you can come and see, too. Look, I, I hope you don't mind, ma'am. You know, it's just fun on the boy. I heard the kids talking about how this old pile of stones here was haunted. Ask Jamie. And Amanda, she knows about it, too. Look, I, you know, I just thought I'd give, a, give him bragging rights, you know? Show him the inside of the haunted house first. Well, he's not to talk to strangers. He certainly knows better than that, and he's not to go off with people that he doesn't know. Ghost or no ghost. And if I were you, I would be really careful putting your hands on children that you don't know. I, I meant no harm. Well, whether you did or not, let me tell you, taking a, a little boy into a mausoleum, it would give him nightmares for weeks. I, I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. Your mom's right, pal. Listen, uh, you don't want to go in there. There's all kinds of spiders in there and creepy stuff. But I want to see the ghost. Well, you know what? Then you have your mom take you to the library. Because that's where all the best ghosts live in storybooks. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. Are you okay? Yeah. You have something to say to me? I'm sorry for talking to a stranger. Thank you very much. I'm not trying to be mean. You realize that? I know. These are rules to keep you safe. Because I love you. Okay? Come on. Let's go try to find Jamie. Let's go. I realize the world is like a doormat for you, Adam, but I did not sign up for the job. This is hardly the time to lose your cool, Ellie. We made a deal. You help me get my medical license back, and I keep the secret about your possibly impending daddyhood. What's the matter? Are you afraid the servants might be listening? The servants are not who you should be afraid of. This is exactly the kind of attitude that got you in trouble in the first place. You want what you want, when you want it, and everybody else be damned. Me? Who bought an entire fertility clinic so he could switch his sperm with Jake's? That project was very well planned and executed, my dear. Unlike your wild belly flops into the pool of life. Well, at least I'm still swimming. You're too eager for instant gratification to notice you've gone headfirst into the waves. I want my medical license back. I will get it for you. When? When the time is right. When our bases are covered. Well, they look fine to me. Well, how will it look if you get your license back too quickly? If I, if I go to bat for you and people ask why? You're stalling. No, I'm trying to teach you the art of the game, Allie. Look, Adam, I always follow my instincts, okay? I go with my gut. <laughs> what if your gut told you to eat nothing but ice cream and candy all day long? Would you do that? Do not speak to me like I'm a three-year-old. Don't forgive me. You're far too health conscious to do that. You think about what goes into your mouth, but you don't think about what comes out of it. You made your confession. Oops, I can't take it back. So now you need me. I don't need your lectures. All I need is to practice medicine again. And you better make that happen soon. First things first, Ellie. Have you rebuilt your bridges with Jake and Liza? Yes, I told you I'm working on it. And Liza's forgiven you? Sure, after I crawled on my hands and knees and ate mud. And she believes you're a big fan of this whole baby-making process. Yes, I told you that already. Adam, I am not going to wait forever for you to help me out. And, and don't think of me as a loose cannon, because I'm aimed right at your head. You want to disarm me? Reinstate my medical license. Adam, you going to record it in? What are you doing here? You found yourself quite an ally, Eliza. <laughs> Allie thought I was going to make trouble for you. I've uh, assured her she was wasting her time. I've given Liza my word. I have no intention of interfering in her life or her child's in any way. 
Well, if Eliza trusts you, then um, I'll try. Fine. Good look. These detectives that you told me about, Adam, said that they were going to maintain constant contact. Well, wh what's up? Has anybody seen her? Has anybody tracked my mother down? Why don't we go into my study? We'll call Barry. Maybe he's found something. My mother is not exactly a low-profile person. You know that. I mean, somebody must have seen her or, or uh, anywhere, don't you think? Yeah, I'm sure Liza appreciates your concern. Don't disappoint us, Adam. I won't. Liza, please let me know if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Thank you. Uh, let's make that call. Well, well, well. I guess I'd better tell Adam what just slithered out of his wall. So he can call the exterminator. Oh, Adam. I must admit, I admire spirit in my adversaries. It's no fun to deal with people who just lie down and die. I would never roll over for you. Ever. Wouldn't think much of you if you did. And this admiration is motivated by what? The fear that I can rat you out to Adam Chandler? It's an honest reassessment, I assure you. You know, you're a very determined young lady. You're very strong-willed. Strong enough to take you down with just a few well-chosen words to Adam Chandler. Maybe you should think about that before you do. You know, Mr. Cortland, payback is a glorious thing. Especially when I can hand over the guy who told the cops to arrest me for felony. Or you could have something more valuable than just revenge. You don't have anything I want. So you tell Adam Chandler that you found me standing in his living room. I and mean, what could you possibly gain? Hmm? I'd be embarrassed for a moment or two. You'd still be out of work, estranged from half the community. You know, somehow I doubt that that's all I would get. But of course, that still leaves the question, what were you doing skulking around here? And tell me, what is it that you don't want Adam to find out? You know, I think we could uh, continue this discussion elsewhere. You might find it very valuable. Well, I guess since I have absolutely nothing to lose and possibly everything to gain, why not? of detectives not be able to find my mother. I mean, what is Barry doing? Is he hiring a pack of idiots? Liza, they're the best in the business. I, I just think that we need to call the police and get them involved in this and ask them for their help. I quite agree. I can't... I, I can't do this. I'll, I'll make the call. Why don't we get our heads clear? Get our facts straight. Just sit down, have a cup of coffee. So the Danish is terrific. Cook just... My God... Liza, what is it? Are you all right? No. I feel... I feel... So? What'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. 